Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor, on a quest to become the world's greatest tutor. Today we are going to be talking about electromagnetic waves, specifically the wave speed equation, which I'll just show you is this. It's the famous equation C equals lambda times F, where C is the speed of light, which is the speed of all electromagnetic waves, and that's going to be 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And in case you forget electromagnetic waves, this is the entire electromagnetic spectrum travels at this speed. That means everything from radio waves to microwaves to visible light all the way to gamma rays is going to travel at this speed. Lambda here is the wavelength. In other words, how long is the wave measured in meters usually. And F is going to be the frequency of this wave. Remember that frequency is equal to one over the period. Sometimes that relationship shows up. And just so you know, I've also seen this equation written like this, where instead of F for frequency, they'll use Greek letter nu, which looks like a curly V of some sort. But it means the same thing. It's wavelength times frequency. And by the way, this equation holds true for anything traveling in a wave, whether it be a light wave or if it's even just a wave on the ocean, except instead of C being the speed of light, we usually say V for velocity of the wave or wave speed and that is the exact same equation. But since we're talking about light and electromagnetic waves, we are going to use this where we are talking about the speed of light. Another good thing to know is because we're gonna be doing a lot of scientific notation here, if you have a TI-84 calculator, or basically any calculator, honestly, another way of writing three times 10 to the eighth in scientific notation is three E eight. And that is very handy to know because it makes a lot of our calculations a lot easier because you don't have to type three times 10 to the eighth. You can just write this. Look for the small capital E button on your calculator. Usually it has a second E next to it if you're looking for that button. And so without further ado, we have three questions we're gonna do today and let's get started. For the first question, I have red light, visible light, which has a wavelength of 700 nanometers and I want you to find the frequency of this light. So all I'm gonna do is use the equation I just said, C equals lambda times F. So C is the speed of light, three times 10 to the eighth, equals lambda, which is the wavelength, 700 nanometers. Remember that nanometers is really 700 times 10 to the minus ninth when it comes to meters, and I do want units of meters. So as a reminder, nano is 10 to the minus ninth, if you have micrometers, that's 10 to the minus sixth. And if you have millimeters, then you have 10 to the minus three. And that's very handy to know. So anyways, the wavelength is 700 times 10 to the minus ninth, or 700 E negative nine on your calculator when we get there, times the frequency. And now if I wanna solve for frequency, I'm just dividing both sides by 700 times 10 to the minus ninth. So I plug that in my calculator and I'll get a final answer for frequency of 4.29 times 10 to the 14th and the units for frequency are the Hertz, HZ. Or you could say one over seconds or even seconds to the minus one power, but I don't like these units. I like Hertz personally. And so hopefully that makes sense. You don't have any questions on that. And if not, then we're gonna go to the next problem. So for the next one, I'm gonna do the opposite I'm gonna give you the frequency and tell you that it's 103 megahertz, which by the way, could be the frequency of a radio station in your car. If you're listening to 103 point whatever, that usually represents the frequency in megahertz. And the question is, I want you to find the wavelength now. And I want the answer in meters, let's say. So here's what we're gonna do. Same equation as before, C equals lambda times F. Maybe even you wanna try this on your own first. I encourage you to. But if you give up, then here's what we do. C is three times 10 to the eighth. Lambda is what we're solving for, the wavelength. And the frequency is 103 megahertz. Do not just put 103. Megahertz is really 103 times 10 to the sixth. And yes, you should probably know that. And so then it's 103 times 10 to the sixth. So in other words, if I wanna solve for lambda, then I just have to divide both sides by 103 times 10 to the sixth power, and that will get me a wavelength of 2.91 meters. 
And that's the answer for that one. Pretty easy. As a matter of fact, I would say the hardest part of these problems is remembering what the prefixes mean. And as a reminder, megahertz means 10 to the 6th, gigahertz means 10 to the 9th, and I don't think you would see this, but if you see terahertz, that would be 10 to the 12th. And that's all the prefixes I know. Uh, maybe I'll throw kilohertz in there as well for good measure. That would be 10 to the 3rd. And that's basically the spectrum that you can expect to see on a test. So there you go. And so then I have one more question for you. This would be like a challenge question. I want to find the difference in frequency between two wavelengths of light, where lambda 1 equals 60 nanometers and lambda 2 equals 45 nanometers. And I want to know the difference between the frequencies. So go ahead, give this one a try, and when you're ready to see the solution, unpause the video. Okay, so here's what I do. First, C equals lambda 1 times F1. I'm going to solve for my first frequency. That means 3 times 10 to the 8th equals lambda 1. 60 nanometers, which is times 10 to the minus 9th, times frequency 1. So then I just divide both sides by 60 times 10 to the minus 9th. And that will get me 5 times 10 to the 15th hertz, which is a pretty big frequency, I will admit. And now I want to find frequency 2. To do that, I'm just going to do the exact same equation, except now 3 times 10 to the 8th. We said lambda 2 was 45 nanometers, so 45 times 10 to the minus 9th times frequency 2. So again, I'm dividing both sides by the wavelength, 45 times 10 to the minus 9th. And that'll get me a frequency of 6.67 times 10 to the 15th hertz. And so you'll notice it's a little bit higher than F1, 5 times 10 to the 15th. And that's because in general, the smaller the wavelength, the larger the frequency. And that is an inversely proportional relationship that you should probably have memorized. The smaller the wavelength, the larger the frequency, and vice versa. So anyways, if I want to know the difference between these wavelengths, all I got to do is 6.67 times 10 to the 15th minus 5 times 10 to the 15th. And that'll get me 1.67 times 10 to the 15th hertz. And that is the difference in these wavelengths. And that's all the problems I have to look at today. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If not, have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.